This is Daniel Cook digging for dinosaur bones. Hi, I'm here with Hans, and today Hans is going to take me on a dinosaur dig. Hi, Hans. Hi, Daniel. This is Daniel Cook on a bike, in a plane, on a farm, playing games with many places and friendly faces. We'll have lots of fun with Daniel Cook. When did you decide to become a paleontologist? I wanted to be a paleontologist when I was five years old. I've been trying to find it. I've been trying to find find some dinosaurs, but I never found any. It takes a long time to find to find perhaps good dinosaurs. I, perhaps I should start digging here. Did you know that my favorite dinosaur is the Giganotosaurus? I've heard that, Daniel. <laughs> you like Giganotosaurus? <laughs> um, what's your favorite dinosaur? I think my favorite dinosaur right now is probably Carcharodontosaurus. Who's that? That's the 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 cousin to Giganotosaurus. Ooh! And it lived at the same time, but it lived in Africa. Yeah, I heard of something, something, something uh, as big as a Giganotosaurus before. Yeah, so, so but you, I can't imagine it. I can't imagine what it would look like. Is it a plant eater or a meat eater? Most likely a meat eater. It was oh, a meat eater. I knew it. Everything that's everything that's as big as Giganotosaurus and it stands on two legs is a meat eater. It has to be a meat eater. One time I got a book. Guess how thick it was. That, that thick, thick on dinosaurs? Yeah. So is this a dinosaur dig site? This is a, uh, a dinosaur dig site that we have going on right now. Um, why? Why is it all divided into the grids? We put it into grids so that we can make, we, we can make good maps of it, because we want to know exactly where each bone comes from. Do we have all the tools we need to dig for fossils? I think we have all the tools we'll need to dig for fossils here. And these are things that, that only sort of grown-ups could use because they're pretty dangerous, like pickaxes. And once we dig through the rock, we'll then, we'll then shovel it away with, with things like shovels. You've got to be pretty strong to, work, to be a paleontologist. It's not like, like working on a typewriter. Another thing that, that a paleontologist always has to have, apart from a compass and, and, a, and, and a map to know where you are, is a, is a good field book to record uh, everything that, that, that you see. Can I have a logbook to write down my observations? So we have a, a brand new logbook here just for you to write yeah. down everything about this quarry, this, this dinosaur dig right here. Yeah. Great, so now we have a, a map uh, started yeah. for all the grids, so we can start digging for bones now. Yay! I'll do the shovel. Great, there we go. I think we're pretty sure right now we don't, we don't have anything in grid number three. Yes, I think you're right. Should we check grid number four now? So let's start with grid number four. No one has even started it. So there could be fossils just underneath the surface. Yeah, there could. So we're not going to use any, anything big right now, I think. Oh, okay. Okay, so br brushes and small hammers scrape away some of the rock. Look at this one right here. Oh, what'd you find? See that? It looks a little bit different, eh? Let's see what... Has a different color to it. Let's see what you found. Could be a dinosaur bone. Hey, maybe we discovered a new type of dinosaur. A new species? Yeah, maybe. Can I use the brush to brush it off? So here's a brush. Yeah, to get into the dinosaur bone! Let's use brushes now. I think we did find a dinosaur bone. It looks like one. Okay, let's keep looking. There could be even more bones. I can't believe I actually found a dinosaur bone. <laughs> I'll help you out. <laughs> Ooh, that could be know. something. So the most important thing to do is once you find Another it, dinosaur bone. to not tear it out of the ground, to keep it in, in one yeah. spot. Because we really have to be careful what's under there. Yeah, because there could be like more than one part of it. This one looks a little bit bigger. Could be Tyrannosaurus Rex. Could be another Giganotosaurus bone. Look at those teeth. I know one thing, it's a meat eater. What kind of dinosaur do you think, do you think this is? Tyrannosaurus rex. I think you're probably close. This is a, it looks like a Albertosaurus. Yeah, it does, cool. So the eye would have been sitting right here. Yeah. It has a little horn just in front of its eye. This one is going to be quite hard to draw in my logbook. I might have to use one certain page for it. 
Okay. And I and I could and I could put a and I could put a something that says best find yet. <laughs> best find yet. This is Daniel Cook updating his field book. Yeah. Whew. Best find yet. Uh, I got a bit of a soaker. Yeah, but you got clean too. Yeah. Thank you so much, Hans, for teaching me how to dig for dinosaur bones. It was so cool. Thank you. My pleasure.